Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. Here we're going to learn about evaluating numerical expressions. Don't let this title uh, confuse you or scare you. It's a very simple concept and we're going to get to it here in just a second. Um, so first let's talk about what is a numerical expression. Okay. Expression, this word expression, you see, you're going to see it in algebra all the time. Basically, an expression is math operations. So a numerical expression is math operations that have numbers, okay? Because in later on, we're going to have math operations involving letters, variables. So this means, for instance, uh, you're, you, you have uh, uh, math operations with things like addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, and division. Right, so those are the main math operations. And in fact, later on, we're going to talk about exponents and square roots and all kinds of other things. So those can all be a part of expressions as well. But for now, numerical expressions just means adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing numbers essentially is all it means when you have a numerical expression. Later on, we'll talk about algebraic expressions when you're doing all of these things to variables, letters. So it's, it's a real simple concept. You've been doing this since third grade. But one thing I want to caution you, and I've mentioned a couple of times, uh, I use the letter X here for multiplication to show you that we can multiply in expressions, but we never write the letter X for multiplication to, to intend to, to show multiplication in algebra because it gets confusing. We use the variable X all of the time. So for instance, in basic math, you might say three times four. Right? This means 3 times 4 is equal to 12, obviously. But you see the x here in algebra is going to look like a variable. It looks like 3 times x times 4. So we, we never use this x to mean multiplication. Instead, in algebra, we, and I've done this several times, we put 3 and then a dot here uh, with a 4. That means 3 times 4. Or you could write it as 3 parentheses 4 parentheses. And that is going to also mean um, that is going to also mean uh, uh, multiplication when you have the parentheses set up that way. All right, so let's go ahead and get, get down to it and, and do a few of these uh, numerical expressions and show you what we're talking about here. What if you have this expression? It's a very simple um, numerical expression, 3 times 4. How do we evaluate that? Well, it's very, very simple. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So congratulations, you've just solved your first numerical, uh, evaluated your first numerical expression. To evaluate this expression, it just means solve it or do the math. Um, numerical expression just means you have some numbers that are, have some math involved in them. So let's get to a, a couple more complicated ones here. What if you had the expression, the numerical expression, 10 uh, minus, and we'll use those parentheses again, 2 um, times 4. Right, 2 times 4. So again, we have these parentheses, and I mentioned this in the last lesson. Anytime you see parentheses, it just means you have to do what is inside of these parentheses first. I'm going to repeat that over and over again because it's very, very important in algebra. So uh, when we solve this, when we evaluate this, I should say, the 10, we don't do anything with the 10 yet because he's not inside the parentheses. We have to deal with what's inside these parentheses first, and here we have multiplication inside of them. So 2 times 4 is 8, and we just leave it inside the parentheses like that. Now that we've done the inside of the parentheses, you can kind of mentally remove them because we've, we've done the math. Now you have 10 minus 8, and you all know that 10 minus 8 is 2. So that's the answer, and this was the answer up here. 3 times 4 is 12. So we got the answer of 2 there. Um, what if we had the uh, numerical expression 20 um, times 1 half? This is a numerical expression, 20 times 1 half, just numbers. Remember, a fraction is just a number, just like any other number. It's just uh, less than a whole number. Um, so there's no parentheses here. We just literally do the multiplication. You take 20, you multiply by a half. What do you think you're going to get? Well, you're just going to get the number 10. That's the answer. We've evaluated that numerical expression. What if you have the numerical expression, let's open some parentheses now, 20 um, times 1 half, we'll close the parentheses off, plus 6. How do we evaluate this numerical expression? Well, we have to do what's inside of these parentheses first, and we already know that 20 times a half is 10, so that's, that's, that's easy enough. So we open these parentheses back up, and we put a 10 inside. We have to do what's inside first. The plus 6 just stays along for the ride. We don't even do anything with it yet. But now for the next step, we, we've already done what's inside of the parentheses, so we just do 10. We kind of drop mentally drop the parentheses. 10 plus 6, you all know, is uh, 16, and that's going to be the final answer there. 
And this will be our last problem here. What if we have 9 plus, and we'll open a parentheses 5 plus, or 5 times 4. Uh, again, we have to do what's inside the parentheses first, so the 9 just comes along for the ride. We open the parentheses. 5 times the 4 inside the parentheses is going to be 20. And now that we've done that, we can mentally drop the parentheses and just say 9 plus 20 is 29. And that is the final answer. And just getting some practice evaluating these numerical expressions, especially when you have some parentheses involved. The main thing to remember is just do what's inside the parentheses first. And we'll do a lot more uh, with that here in the next lesson. We'll get some additional practice with evaluating numerical expressions.